Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. In the previous episode, we planted some flowers, a lot of flowers actually, and we've got two fairly large flower gardens. We don't need two of them, it was just a more aesthetic decision rather than anything else, but I'm pretty happy with it because we've also got these fountains and yeah, it's uh, pretty good. And also the lighting is a nice touch too, so pretty happy with that, so we're going to progress on in earnest. And in this episode, I want to, for a start, remove some tunnels because I know we have a couple over here. And... Oh, sorry, we also had this. Well, yeah, this is the aftermath of what we had. This is a riot, technically, that we had over here, and sadly, Dale Campbell has perished in the fight. A lot of other prisoners and, indeed, staff members are injured too, so that's overwhelming the infirmary at this stage, so we'll have to see. Oh, and a guard dog as well. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Don't really know what's going on there. Interesting... Indeed. I mean, it's, I mean, I know we've got extremely strong, extremely tough, deadly, but there's no reason for it to kick off. It could just be because the danger level was so high and, you know, the heat was up. It's, it probably is something to do with that. Anyway, with that said and done, we are going to progress on. And in this episode, it's all about overhauling. Specifically, we're moving the classroom and the chapel and we're moving it inside, most likely to here. And you know, I think this is going to be a fairly big chapel and a fairly big classroom. In fact, we'll most likely have a the chapel even bigger as well. But yeah, that's probably what we'll do. And yes, that does break the original intention of this forward-facing bit here. So this, the whole point in this was to have it so that that anyone that's coming, like say visitors or people that teach, or have to use meeting room, etc., like reform prisoner, and even did the parole stuff, they would come through the front door, through the security door, and then straight away you've got like the the bakery and you've got the you've got the restaurant and everything else that they will face. They don't have to go inside the facility. Now I think there's one or two programs that they may need to do that. Uh, is it in the common room? It might be, but for the most part, not so much. Either way though, we're going to shift them over. So classroom is going to go back here. So anyone that teaches that class will have to come through. Similar thing for the for the um, this building here, uh, the chapel, and more fighting as well. It's because the danger level is so high. Fifty prisons have serious complaints. Exercise need. Is it that? There are weights benches and there's a gym, and a lot of them are still shackled up, waiting for solitary. And we do have guards available, so they should be escorted where necessary. I think that's a bug. Lockdown and solitary. They just not they just haven't been taken where they need to be taken. Curious. Doesn't seem that they're using these chess tables, but they're in anywhere. Okay, well, let's crack on with the building. I think we have enough money at uh, 236,000 plus a bit of change there. So over to foundations and then more and then to the classy uh, building here and then we're just going to build, well, a classy building. So that's going to go in there. We'll have our walls and doors and then doors over to the double door here, which I'm going to place double door there and then straight across here another double door. This is going to be our chapel. And uh, classroom, as I mentioned. I think the classroom is oversized, but quite frankly, not bothered. Uh, we, we don't we don't need to do anything else with the space. Yes, we could put more prisoners here. We could do, we could do uh, many things, but honestly, let's just uh, get it done. Not fuss too much over it. The, the danger level is still really high, and it's it's an exercise. Forty prisoners say they can't meet that need. Is it because they are solitary? Up? It could be. It could be. Food has been eaten, though. That's been consumed. Hygiene is going up. Family altered. Oh, there's a grand completion. That is, I believe, to reform prisoners. Brilliant. So we have eco-friendly and basic farming. I'm going to pick up eco-friendly because why not? Green energy goals... We've got Green NG6 and Green NG8. And both of them are to... Well, one of them is to produce solar panels. The other one is to uh, not use any power station for 10 in-game days with prisoners present. 
right? That's possible. I would like to do a shakedown, but I'm gonna I am gonna do a shakedown, but only in medium sec only, which is here, here, and here. And that will find hopefully tunnels, which we found two of. And also obviously anything that the prisoners may have on them. That's gonna Oh. There's our legendary prisoner fighting. What's going on here then? Stop shakedown. Looks like we're gonna have to have a guard response. Because this guy's kicked off. And that's it. Death today. Loads of fighting over there again. Probably because of the danger level. Oh, God. And now they're fighting in here. And over here. Wow. Snitch. It was an unknown trait. I'm going to hire more guards, a lot more guards, and more dog handlers. Probably more dog handlers than we need, but I'd rather overdo this. And we've got the money. It's not as if we can't do that. I will then run in programs, guard taser certification. Let's run that. Looks like this building is now being placed. If we check out our utilities, there's currently no utilities going to that. Each one of these is producing loads of power. So, total production is 7,000 units. Excess power is 4,000 odd units. So, what I'm going to do is... Hmm. I think I'm going to connect it up. I really do. This is going to run across. And then, because we can going to do that. Was it distance 7? And just power this up. And I think we'll turn off. I think I'll just remove that and those two and then just connect everything to this other grid to these to these two and run everything off solar and just have the generators as a backup. The best way to do it actually is to have power switches. Yeah. Power switch is probably the best option, but for the time being, once we've placed all this, we'll crack on with the other stuff. Looks like we've got alcoholics group therapy being run there. And still exercise and Family and recreational needs are high. Because I think most prisoners work. So even though there's like work slash free time. That guy's shown for clothing, really? Safety's... Yeah, they need that need fulfilled. Yes, understood. Yeah, there's a lot of needs that are not getting fulfilled. Mainly because they're working. I don't want to alter the regime because it'll mess around with the programs but I think we'll with I think we'll withhold a shakedown for quite some time now I might even give them a bit more time off two hours of free time reschedule all programs we can still run it yeah give them more free time. Best course of action, I think. So it's free time. They should be fulfilling their needs now. Oh, look at that. Look at all these guys wanting luxuries, but they can't because nobody's in the shop working because it's free time now. Well, that's just annoying. Energy levels going up. Hygiene, exercise, family, and recreation. Curious. Hygiene should be sorted out in the morning. Exercise that can do at any point in free time. Family is similar. They can use the phones. 
I mean, yeah, it should all be better. Anyway, danger level's flying down. We're not going to do a shakedown. Right, let's work on, as I said, the chapel and... Work on the chapel and we'll work on the... The classroom. The classroom for this is 8 by 14. If we have it this size, it's 11 by 18. So it's just a lot bigger than is needed. So I'm going to shrink it down to that. And this is going to be uh, probably the biggest chapel we've ever created. So I'm going to designate these rooms now. So there's the chapel. And uh, well, let's put that as the classroom there as well. So those are now in. I will go to objects and right down to the bottom here and go to dismantle and dismantle all of it, but they're also going to take out the lights, which is a bit annoying, but I'll have to I'll just have to relight it. Uh, that door can go, that door can go. So can that and so can that. And now that's been dismantled and obviously we can then place more visitation in. That was the original intention, and that's why we're doing this. Over to walls and doors, and then to our walls. I'm going to place a wall across there, and a wall across there. Almost certainly this will be split in half to have at least a couple of rooms extra in there as well. We'll see how we get on with that one. We have only 306,000 generic units of currency, so almost uh, completely out of money. <laughs> it's ridiculous how much money we make. We're currently on... 850,000. And there's another death. Yeah. And the danger level's flying up again. Hang on. That's curious. See that there? Cover blown. Oh, yeah, of course, cover blown. Yeah, yeah that's fine. But danger level flying back up again. These needs are getting fulfilled though. Yeah, it's still going up. 60 prisons have serious complaints. To do with exercise, perhaps? It's possible. Put the yards there. Do we have a yard time? Do I think we need a yard time? No. Are we going to have one? I think we'll have an hour of yard time and then put the eat like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Something does seem to be amiss. I'm just going to activate Tim here. I just want to see if we've got anyone that we can uh, well that we need to protect just go, just went around there and activated a couple of uh, recruited some confidential informants looks like we've got one two three four five people uh, who are marked as well not marked as a snitch but certainly oh yeah they are marked as snitch or ex-law enforcement okay we will deactivate them straight away I don't want to be don't be running that too much. Right, so over to the chapel and the classroom. Quite simple to do to do both. So we'll have our blackboard, which will go at the back there. This is looks like we're not going to be in the middle. It doesn't matter. Um, we need a school desk, which we'll have... Well, we've got several of them, so we're just going to run these like that. And obviously I'm splitting them up and just putting them in where necessary. That, for some reason, won't go in. And then we've got bit of a gap down the bottom that's all fine and then I think we needed a office desk as well which we do have which will go there and that is now pretty much done we'll have our walls and doors and then to the wall and this is obviously classy which will go there and then the chapel which is really annoying to build because if we go to the altar you can see it doesn't line up in the center at all uh, no matter where we put it so I think this is is this even it is, it is even. If we were to move this down a little bit, we'd then be able to place it there, and then there would be a middle. Should we do that? And then it means that this can go in the middle as well. Yeah, I think people would be more satisfied that, with that. I think you would be more satisfied with that. If anything, we should have done it the other way and have a smaller classroom, but it is what it is. 
we've done it now. Looks like our flowers are coming out and blooming. So sunflowers, mixed begonias, roses, heather, and hide ranger. I like the begonias. They're very colourful. We've also got the torpories as well. So there you are. So this is going in now. So classroom. We'll do that. I will then remove the other classroom. Like so. And I want to... Hang on. Move it to... No, where it is actually is fine. But we need to have some more school desks, even though we've got far too many in the first place. It's going to be job done. Okay, altar. Goes there. Followed by pews. Hang on, which are the right... Which is the right way? That's the right way, is it? Left, down, sorry, right, down, left, up. Yeah. And I will put gaps in like this. And obviously have a gap in the centre there. Because that's like the walkway in and up. And we'll have prayer mats basically lining the front. There we go. So flooring, wooden floor. You know what I'm tempted to do? Do we have wooden floor on the entire thing? Or... We went with car... No, we haven't. We went with, yeah, wooden floor on both. Would it be better having, like, carpet? Maybe, like, underneath these, and then wooden floor where people walk? Maybe. But we're going to make it all wooden floor, though, just for the sake of ease, quite frankly. Right, we need to brick this up, brick this up, remove the designation of the room, dismantle the walls, demolish walls, there we are, same over here. Extremely tough, extorkal, and confidential informant, Richard. You haven't got cover blown, though. It's curious that that's happened. Visitation, then. We'll go for flooring, carpet brown. Put the carpet in. <laughs> what I quite like is that they've dismantled the lights, haven't they? One, two, three. Is that right? Yeah, they've dismantled the lights, but they've left them pretty much... Well, they've left them exactly where they <laughs> where they were. Um, in fact, some of them they haven't even removed. That's very weird. Well, it's in. It's because we built like it in different orders, so the, the lights will be off to one side and moved around and such. So it's just how it is. So that's going in. Visitation obviously will need to be expanded, which we'll do. One, and then two. We do have a patrol there. I'll have to alter that patrol, but I'll get to that in a moment once I've put in our visitor tables, which will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that has doubled the size of, of our visitation rooms. And obviously... Coincidentally, du uh, double the size of all visitation. Good. Just got a flooring here. And grass. Place the grass along there. Place the grass along there. Those plates are still there. I'm just going to dump them. It's weird that that happens. Produce 10 superior beds. I've just realised we're on 60. So we've produced 6 beds. Good. Good. Deployment. Patrols. 
Uh, oh, we haven't got patrols in here. Have we just got assignments? Oh, yeah, we've just got assignments. Okay. Uh, sign. Dog handlers. There we go. They were just doing their own thing. Good. Right, I'm happy with that. Once again, danger level is going up. And... I don't know what it is. There's no event running. Could be the spiritual leader thing. Look like those are all in now. Okay. Seems to be fine. Right, the job I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> so this needs to be changed. Um, specifically, the, the building is a little bit too... Well, you could say large in one direction or short in the other. It's 50 to the edge there. And it is 52 to there. So we basically need to bring it down by two. And it will be identical. The other way is to shrink it. And frankly, with the space that we've got, shrinking it's the best option. So 50 to there. And 52, yeah. So it means that we want to bring this down. The wall needs to go there, I believe. So that'll be 52. 52 to there, and then 52 to there. No, hang on. <laughs> Else we've measured from the right bit. So 52 from the edge of the wall. 52 from the edge of the new wall. Yes, that is fine. So, all of these we'll have to move. And obviously dismantle a lot of these. It's best if I just go to objects and down the bottom. Just dismantle all of those. And then I'll put them back in and then bring the building down and then shift all of these. Which will be a fun task. A very fun task. So we're missing out on a library. We're missing out on a mail room. Mail room will give correspondence and fulfill that need for the prisoners. Uh, specifically fill the need of um, a family. So yeah. I'm not going to do a shakedown tonight, but I am going to do a tunnel search in all sectors. We will still find things because they tend to hide a lot of stuff in the toilets. We have found tunnels. We found two tunnels. So it was worth running it. Remove tunnels. There we go. Oh, remove uh, we found two tunnel tiles, I guess. Uh, so we remove that. And it seems that the dismantling thing doesn't work with this stuff. Come on, prison architect, get your stuff together. So that's going in. This is going to power down the entire prison. Well, half of the prison, actually, I think. So, Transformer is going to go... Why can't it go there? What? Curious that it can't go the place I really want it to go. Why can't it go there? Is it because of... Utilities. I'll just sell them for now. Actually, I think I know what it is. It's the boxes. The boxes are in the way. I have to sell them to place it. I think that's what it is. Uh, no. Is it that light? Probably the light. Yeah, it's, it's the light. You can place it on it. You can't place it so the power cable goes into it. How strange. How strange. I'm going to prioritise the removal of that because we really need to get some power back into this facility. No! What? I'm at a loss to explain why that can't be placed there. Dismantle that. Sell 
sell that. Right, we've got a pretty much empty canvas here. There, we can place it now. So, it wants to go there. Followed by electrical cable and electrical cable. Like that. And batteries. And it is actually batteries, not capacitors. Like that. All the way around. Followed by the power export meter. We'll prioritise that. And we'll also bulldoze all of this and place the wall classy across there. Strangely, I've prioritised the building of this, yet they managed to destroy the wall sooner rather than later. Huh. Okay. That's now connected. Apparently tunnels over there, and it is. Let's see, remove tunnels. This is the problem when you're doing a very big overhaul in a facility that's already running and has a lot of prisoners. Uh, you end up, I wouldn't say ignoring the prisoners, but certainly your attention is elsewhere, and the stuff you miss. Now, admittedly, if I just pause it just for a second and look back, we could probably do better. So I'm just running around here to see if there's anyone I should be aware of. Possible. Best thing to do is just to run a program. Uh, run a... Run a couple of uh, informants down to the security room and have a little chat. So there's all planning removed because we don't need it. And have those not been placed yet? Batteries. There and there. And that isn't... Weird. Prioritise that. I think it's cancelled some of it when I cancelled the planning. I think that's what's happened there. Hmm. I want to do a shakedown, but I'm not going to do a shakedown. It's just going to kick the place off again. So there's the batteries back in. Still waiting for the electrical cable. Apparently it's coming from the other side of the planet. Yeah. Why are they so oh, the It's been given to poor Buzz here, the worker, who is exhausted. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm at a loss. So let me just double check to make sure what I've done is actually correct. It should be. Oh, so he, so he puts it down and doesn't install it. Wow. 52. And 52. Yeah. And also a big tunnel. Not the biggest tunnel we found in the game. But still a tunnel nonetheless. And it's not really a surprise. Because, you know, it, it's been dark for I don't know how long. So I'm just going to move this door down. And now the door should be more central. Like that. And that should be okay. More tunnels again. More tunnels. I also am aware that every time we do this, we're moving tunnels. And there's little bits like this where we've uncovered the tunnels. Or that's where they've popped up. And I haven't put it... I haven't fixed it. Ah, that's because, quite frankly, it's a thankless job and it happens constantly. So every now and again I'll do it, but not every time we find a tunnel. So, we need to move these down. So these wind turbines go down by two, but I can only move... Oh no, I can move them all. One, two. One, two. Two. And they're just going to get moved down like this. Hang on. Is that the right place? One, two. two. Yeah, two to there. One, two. One, two. 
one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. And that should be that redistributed. Everything should be connected up, which I think it is. I am now going to try something. I'm going to sell that, that, and that. And everything powers off. All right. This will connect to there. And this will connect to there. And that should be the whole prison on green energy. Just prioritizing the building of this. And this is where I get my maths wrong. And the grid explodes. Oh, well, everything seems to be back on. And we have excess power for both. Very close as well. 1,979 and 1,893. And we now should be doing the eco power thing. I think, however, I do have to turn these off. So switch off and switch off. But that noise normally signals something really bad. And Oh. Is that not connected to anything? No. It needs to be connected up to, to that. Prioritize the building of that. Ironically, the person holding the drum that they need to use to fix it is <laughs> behind that locked thing there. Okay, good. That's not too bad. There's a tunnel. That could be legit, that one. I'm going to do a shakedown. Oh, it's a little bit... That's two tunnels. That's too much of a coincidence, surely. We haven't done a shakedown in quite some time, so we are going to run it. There is some disturbances in places. Yep, there's the tunnel. That was one of them, I think. I think it was one of them. But, pretty happy. We've overhauled the facility in ways that I wanted to. So, doubled our visitation. Increased the size of the chapel, all that wasn't necessary. And made the biggest classroom I've ever made. And it's completely pointless. But at least we've built one. So... That is not too bad at all. I'm going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of prison architect. Uh, these few episodes have been shorter because, as of the time recording, there's a heat wave going on. And uh, having all of the doors and windows closed while sitting next to a PC in a small room wearing a headset is uh, boiling my brain. So, <laughs> uh, needs must I apologise. Either way, we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of prison architect. Next time, we are going to look at... Hmm. Well, bare minimum, I think we look at the library and we look at a mail room. But, I think it will be most beneficial to maybe build a big shop. Yeah, I think a bigger shop. Move the shop over to here. Have this as one big shop. And then... We want a library and a mail room. Hmm. I'll have a think about that one, but I think making a bigger shop would be worth it. We don't need a huge library, and we don't need a huge mail room. If I move the shop over to, say, here, and then put another gym in, that should hopefully fulfill some more exercise needs. And then we could have a shop, a mail room, or a library, mail room, shop, something like that we'll have a think about that one and yeah they'll be going in here and that's what we'll do at minimum but we also may look at perhaps building the cell block and then finally it's the death row although i think death row we're going to put in before we build the last cell block but either way we're going to leave it there for now and next episode we'll crack on with uh with the things that we've just mentioned either way i hope you have enjoyed this episode and what is the series thus far comments in the comments thanks so much for watching take care and generic partings